amid a background of loss of life and economic downturns amongst Kenyan communities in the U.S. A team of Kenyan medical and financial professionals offered free medical screening and financial advice to help their fellow brethren cope with Western world challenges. The one-day seminar held at the St. Paul Community Church in Lawrence, Mass., attracted a diverse cross-section of personalities. Some crawled to the hall while others simply climbed up the stairs. It all started with tranquility as the angelic voices filled the hall with aura of music. Then came the moment of truth when Dr. Omai unleashed a disturbing statistics about the dreaded HIV AIDS pandemic in the New England, and specifically Boston, Mass. According to the data that uh, we have, there are about 617 HIV cases in Massachusetts among African-born people, people like us. And I'll split it by country so we can have a better picture. Horror and fixation gripped the audience when a HIV victim revealed the social difficulties of living with AIDS. Um, regarding relationships, it's very hard because you meet somebody like Sam today and uh, as we get to know each other, at what point now do I tell Sam about my HIV status? It is very, very difficult. The unfortunate story of a Kenyan man who got the wrong interpretation due to ignorance was narrated. It's a stress test, like literally stress test. And the, the gentleman from, um, the Kenyan gentleman from Texas really did not get it. Why would the doctor tell me to get, you know, to get tested for stress? Because he felt like I really do not have stress. But Alongside the medic, the financial guru struck a lighter chord as he threw some light to the congregation to help them make informed choices in financial matter. carry the mentality that we had back in Africa. So whenever we came, when we came to America, our financial awareness never changed, but they don't know how their money can work for them so that they can have more opportunities. And when people, some people give us wrong information, so we put our money in the wrong places like the table, and then we lose it all. Then came the moment of truth, when the attendants queued to be screened. I'm no longer tested, but for blood sugar, I don't test myself. This is a, I'm taking it, I think this after a long, long time. Some knew what they wanted screened, while others were open for grabs. The joy and vibrancy was eminent for the ones whose results were favorable. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm healthy. I feel good. A quick survey revealed that many benefited from the seminar, medically, and financially. Well, it's worth taking the risk and putting some money in your account because later on you find out you get an interest rate which is like almost one, more than a hundred thousand. Hey, I learned that it's very deadly in Kenya <laughs> and it's spreading. Yeah, it's gonna <laughs> make me more cautious and more protective of it. <laughs> Dr. Stewart, a frequent visitor to Kenya, urged Kenyans to drop the bad feeding habits that have been adapted from the West, as well as the one that worked in Kenya but can no longer work in America. Now, as you come from one culture to another, you, know, you bring with you actually some healthy habits. <laughs> Volunteers were screened for conditions such as diabetes and hypertension, among others. The event was organized by the Kenya Christian Fellowship in America, KCFA. At a time when a number of Kenyan youth have been found dead in their houses due to illnesses that could have been otherwise prevented is said to be on the rise.